Well, I'm back at the Nathan Pier. I dropped off my bike at the rental center. It took me two minutes and got my deposit back, no problem. And so now I'm waiting for the 1030 ferry. It might be that blue one there, I'm not sure. To take me to Cofagna. This one's not going, so I guess I'm not taking that one. Beautiful morning. It uh, really threatened rain this morning. A few sprinkles when I got going. But, uh, it, it, uh, it's just completely cleared up. I've, I've only had a couple of little short few minute rains on these, on this trip so far, so I've been really fortunate. Unlike a lot of other people around Thailand where the rain is really bad. Oh, I've been very fortunate and, uh, I appreciate being blessed that way. The nice thing about living, uh, being in Samui is that you see the, the coast all the time, the water, and it is so beautiful everywhere. Lots of things for sale. Those uh, charms are, are good luck. This is a silversmith. Handmade jewelry. Interesting. Tattoo studio there as well. The book and power shop. Not open yet. Another hour. Looks quite interesting. I know I have a tendency to go to places early because it's cooler. Everything's always closed. Which is okay because I don't want to spend any money anyway. Except I'm looking for some more old man shirts. It's really hard to find my size here in Thailand. I'm an L back in Canada, but I'm a 3XL here in Thailand. Well, here's some here. I'm going to pause this here and have a look to see if I got my size. Nope. They don't have my size at all. Not even close. See this kind of seeding a lot. Looks like fruit. Oh, it's a fruit juice shake sand, but they're not open yet. Uh, it's a restaurant as well. There's some kind of a government office across the street there. Oh, Kosamui District Office. Here you go, a block away from uh, the pier, an Irish pub, probably open later tonight. 
Everybody but me will need that. And of course, there's a million massage places around. And I've noticed a ton of exchange rate money exchange places in Koh Samui. Like they're everywhere. I guess it's because so many people come by the airport so they fly in and uh, need money right away. Chilled life cannabis, organic, made in Koh Samui. Buds for less. There are so many weed shops in Thailand. Oh my god. Koh Samui's got a million of them. Lots of coffee shops around the ferry as well. That's kind of cool. And this is where I I um, rented my bike from. And I also paid for my ferry ticket here as well. So if you're curious, I paid 200 baht a day for my little scooter. I originally got a Scoopy and I returned that the next day and got a click like my bike at home. Um, they took a picture of my, uh, what do you call it, my passport. I didn't give it to them. Don't ever give a passport to anybody for anything. And uh, a 3,000 baht deposit. I brought my bike in this morning and I got my deposit within two minutes. So that's the ferry I came in on a few days ago. Kosa Movie Post Office. And there's food carts here. It's one reason why we love Thailand. There's food everywhere, all over the place. So this guy's got water and, and orange juice. Morning, sorry, cop. Now there's a big lineup for this. What are they selling? Oh, fried chicken, of course. Number one food here in Thailand. There's some uh, sticky rice and banana leaves. And some pad thai noodles. That's an interesting little hut. Seen better days. Looks like it used to be an official hut of some sort. Yeah, I've seen better days. Art on that wall. It's really hard to see what it is. It's some kind of birds. Horses. I don't know what those are. 
I think it's seen better days too. No matter what month it is in Thailand, there are always blossoms on the bushes and the trees. Nice little cafe here. I don't think they're open yet. But I love the furniture. They're not open yet. This is Eric, living in Thailand. Thanks so much for coming with me on this little tiny walkabout. Um, I'm almost ready to get on the ferry. My next video will be going on the ferry and uh, going to park the company. I don't know what kind of video it will be, but it will be. So thanks for those who are coming with me so far on this trip. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I have way too many Parang here for me, but I really enjoyed the, the beach, the, uh, the all the people on the side, um, outside of the tourism, and uh, I uh, really enjoyed driving on this island. I've gone around this island three times completely and um, in back and forth at different places. Really hilly. It's um, far too fast for me. Uh, there's a lot of crazy drivers here. There's a lot of people who are driving but never had a, on a motor scooter before. So I had to be really careful and be really watchful. Um, but I, I so much enjoyed it. I know my videos aren't anything like most people do. I didn't go to any real big tourist spots. I could have gone um, zip lining, I could have gone kayaking, I could have gone jet skiing, I could have gone uh, bar hopping, all that kind of stuff. But that's just not me. What I like is uh, regular Thai places. I like the beach, I like the temples. And so that's what I'm going to show. Um, I've, I showed quite a few temples on this video, on this uh, series. There's a ton more I didn't, I didn't show. Some that I went to, some I just drove by. Um, but I'm really appreciative of everybody that watches my videos, even if there's only one. Thanks very much, Eric Living in Thailand. See you on the next adventure.